What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. For those of you that tuned into my live stream last night, I spoke about rapper Lil Baby getting into a situation with a adult film actress by the name of Miss London. Okay. Now, this particular female, she decided to go on Twitter and put it out that basically Lil Baby paid her six grand in order to get with her, right? She even was posting screenshots of him messaging her as to why she's doing this. Only for her to then get back on social media and apologize somewhat for her actions, bringing up his girlfriend's name, talking about how lucky she was. Now, what's very interesting about the situation I spoke about in the live stream, I'll put the link in the description box. Y'all can go check that live stream. It was an excellent live stream, by the way. It was a late night live stream. All my live streams are good, by the way. I spoke about how you have these women that have extreme low self-esteem. And because they have extreme low self-esteem, they end up doing things for attention, things that they later end up regretting. And I do believe she may regret this because she went private on Instagram, even though she's posting screenshots, she's putting this guy's information out here, talking about how he paid to get with her. He didn't say more than two sentences to her. He didn't say more than two sentences to you because all he wanted was to get some and for you to get out, okay? And I truly, and I said this in the live stream, I think she felt some type of way because of it. But you may have messed up their relationship in the short term, maybe not long term. But I guess when, when looking at little Baby's responses, it seemed like he felt like he was in a good situation. Now, you got to understand, you know, this guy is... A rapper okay and a lot of these rappers are gonna be out here dealing with other women now you got the guys that will deal with the groupies you got the guys that's gonna pay for it a lot of times these guys is gonna pay for it they're not gonna whine and dine these chicks they don't want to have no string of text message conversations it's gonna be a situation of I'm gonna fly you out are you down and that's what it seemed like it was and she was down for it only for her to come home or wherever she went to, to get on social media and to brag about it while drinking, because I tell you, a lot of these chicks are either on antidepressant medication or they're heavy drinkers. So they go and they get on social media and they brag about the, 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 you know, the newest guy that has gotten with them in the industry. Now let's go into this article from, article from Complex. All right. Let's see. It is adult film personality and recent headline spur. Miss London has apologized to Lil Baby following a Twitter based discussion on infidelity that was brought up on brought on by comments she made about her own business related interactions with my turn artists. In a series of tweets, London explained that she was speaking out on the topic again as a means of clearing out the air, according to London. She had been drinking when she made her original comments. And, the, and while the information itself was factual, the dates were just not aligned. Right. Well, why would you put it out there? Why would you even bring his girlfriend's name in it? London made uh, London added that she since apologized to baby, but was now making good on her word to fix it publicly. Does Baby love his girl? Yes, London said, referencing Baby's girlfriend, Jada, who was trending on social media. And this is what she had to say. Clearing out the air, there was a small misunderstanding on what I said. I was drinking, but what I said was factual dates that were not lined up, and he was pissed. I apologize, and we were supposed to fix it for the pub. No, you were supposed to fix it. Little Baby doesn't have to do anything. You're the one putting this information out here. And you're putting it out here because you wanted a sliver of attention. You even talked about in your initial tweets that he did not say more than two words to you, uh, two sentences to you, because he was basically there to smash and dash. That's why he was there. 
He was not there to hold any conversations with you. He did not want to be a text buddy. He was not going to send you flowers. It was going to be none of that. And I believe she truly wanted that. And little baby did not. Okay. He put you in your proper placement, which is somebody that he screws, that he sleeps with, but not anybody that he's looking to have a long-term relationship with as far as anything friendship wise, or even in the future, a possible relationship. He's never, I am not say never, but he's not leaving this, this Jada female anytime soon. Okay. All right. Since London said in the original tweets, which may have uh, interpreted to mean that baby had hired her for certain services while in a relationship with Jada were taken out of context. I was randomly tweeting about him. She said he loves his girl. And while London maintains that she and baby have seen each other, such a thing never happened during what will be considered a dis uh, disrespect time. Right. <laughs> if it wasn't, if it wasn't, then why did little baby contact you about fixing it and clarifying it? And then not only that, she actually posted the Twitter DMs and I did and I, and I showed it on my live stream. She posted Twitter, a Twitter DM where he was responding to her. She was soaking up and enjoying this attention. See, these chicks do this because they're tired of being the other woman. They're tired of being pushed to the back burner. She knows that she will never be able to be in a relationship with a guy like little baby. So what she does is what she does is hop on social media for a hot second to get some, some attention off of him just so he will respond to her. Cause he probably haven't spoken to her like that recently. Cause she's claiming that this didn't happen recently, but why would you all of a sudden out of the blue, put this out here? I don't, and it doesn't matter if he, if this was before he, he's been with this chick Jada for a while. This ain't a new relationship. So we know that you lying about that. What it is, is that you have females who will go out there and they will, they will ambiguously put things out here knowing full well that they're doing it for a purpose. They're doing it for a purpose. Uh, let's see. Uh, when I first spoke, I was legit with somebody else. Tweets were taken out of context. Have I seen him for money? Yes, but I was randomly tweeting about him. He loves his girl. He was with her at that point. Have I seen him? Of course, but it wasn't in disrespect time. Well, what, what does that mean? Y'all know how I told y'all, man. It's this word salad that these chicks do, man. Listen, you shouldn't have said anything, period. It's just like a female being married, right, to a new guy. And then her ex randomly tweeting on social media about how the best box he ever got was from this particular female and how her husband was lucky. You know, she didn't say more than two or three sentences. <laughs> like who does that? Oh yeah. These, this westernized liberal female who has no accountability for anything that she's doing. She's only doing this because people are going at her. That's the only reason why she's apologizing. You can't blame alcohol because you're only talking about him. You're not drunk tweeting about anybody else that I you know that from my understanding. You're doing this because you wish you were Jada. You got drunk and you got in your feelings and you and you thought to yourself if I'm getting with this person, why can't I be in a relationship with this person? That's what it was. You have a lot of these females, man. They get with these guys while these guys are in relationships and they want to be in those situations, but they're never going to be. And I think it bothers them. This is why they have to go drink and do pills or, or smoke weed, whatever, to take the edge off because they're frustrated that they have all that body, but they can't get nobody. Okay. Let's see. Little baby tweeted. Let my good outweigh my bad and keep pushing. He also put out some other messages as well. Uh, and I, again, I showed it in the live stream. I just want to go over this particular article and her apologizing. 
I just think that this to me, uh, it's it just it's symbolic of where we are uh, in this society and how there are a lot of women who could have somebody else, but they choose to not have anybody else. They choose to deal with guys that have somebody else. Now, it was very interesting. OK, was very interesting about this whole situation. I did not know this. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I was told in my live stream last night that she's actually married now some of y'all can confirm that in the comment section but she's either in a relationship right now i'm talking about miss london or she is married if that is true that makes it even worse because that just shows you that she has absolutely no respect for the guy that she's in a relationship with now you know i did my research into her and you know for what she does for a living right she has a guy, I believe, that records her and even, you know, co-stars with her. I'm assuming that may be the boyfriend or husband. Okay? Now, again, y'all can correct me in the comment section, but I was told that she's with somebody. And I believe she is with somebody. Uh, that makes it even worse. Uh, why would you tweet about coming home drunk with 16 grand in your purse? Well, no, with six grand in your purse, excuse me. With six grand in your purse... When you already got somebody else, what's wrong with you dudes, man? <laughs> and then you wonder why these chicks have absolutely no respect for you. You're out here getting, you know, you're, you're with women who for everybody. And y'all are okay with it. Why? Because they make all the money. That's crazy, man. That's why she ain't got no problem on no social media and saying what she was saying, putting him on blast, talking about how, you know, she got with him and, got paid money to be with him and mentioning how lucky his girlfriend is listen a lot needs to be done better out here man it does now i won't say that i'm the biggest little baby fan but i don't think that you know he should be put on blast like this i don't think that is right especially with somebody who he had a transaction with he had a transaction with this young lady and she decided to run the social media to talk about it. You know why? Because she has extreme low self-esteem. And these particular females, let me put it on the screen here. These particular females have very low self-esteem. This is one of the messages here. She put this up. But she's not looking for attention or clout. So why would you even put that up? Why would you even put this up? Why would you even put this up? If you're not looking for attention, you're looking for a lot of attention. That's why you put it up. And supposedly you have a dude. Look at the links that these particular females will go through in order to say, hey, somebody wants me. That's why I say you dudes better be careful, man, because they will try to extract the baby out of you in a second. And the fact that he paid this female and she still put him on blast just shows you that no matter what you do, and also a non-disclosure agreement, she he sent her the NDA, she didn't even sign it, or she didn't uh, admit to signing it, just shows you, man, that that's all it was. It was a transaction to little baby. He wasn't looking to be friends. He did not want her, you know, he did not want to have phone conversations because look, they're talking in the DMs. Those are DM messages. He is not looking for anything past what was going on. She wanted more. He wanted nothing from her except the smashing for her to go home. You know? 